place. I want to introduce my boss, our city boss, Speaker Cory Johnson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mazeda. Hi, everyone. Uh, I want to say assalamu alaikum. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here tonight. I really want to thank Safest, and I want to thank Mazeda and the entire census team and the community leaders that are here with us tonight because this is very, very, very important, as you just heard. And I want to reiterate some of the wonderful points that Mazeda just made. So every 10 years, we have the census. And the reason why we do that is because we need to count the number of people living in each state, all 50 states, and depending on that number, that's the amount of money that the federal government gives to us. So after this count is over with, there is $72 billion on the line that will get handed out to states all across uh, the country. And that money goes to education. That money goes to mass transit. That money goes to affordable housing. That money goes to food stamps and social services and health care and hospitals. All the things that our local communities care so much about. And so in advance of the census coming up in this great year of 2020, the city council last June, we got $40 million in the budget. The governor put in $70 million at the state. We put in $40 million here in the city. We fought for that. The city council fought for that to get that money in the budget. And out of that $40 million, we set a significant amount of money aside for community-based organizations like Safest to be able to talk to our diverse communities across New York City about why it is so important to get counted for the census. And so this uh, this Complete Count Committee, the Begali Complete Count Committee, you are so important. Being here tonight is so important because we need everyone in the Bengali community to get counted because that money will go to seniors. That money will go to children. That money will go to schools. We want everyone to get counted. And even though we have a president who every day says terrible things ab about immigrants, the way to get back at him is to be counted, to show that you exist, to show that you are here, to show that you are in the United States of America, and to show that your community really, really matters. And so I wanted to come by here tonight to say thank you. Thank you for participating. Thank you to Safest for organizing this event. Coming up in March is when the count begins, and then it goes into July. So these next few months, you have the wonderful people that are working in the Census Bureau that are out in communities all across New York City trying to get everyone counted. And we actually need more workers. We need more people to actually sign up and be part of it. And if you want to be part of it, you will get paid. You will get paid $28 an hour. $28 an hour. And they'll do it at night, on the weekends. They'll be flexible. We need a lot of people to sign up and to participate and to speak to your neighbors, to speak to parents at your school, to speak to small business owners. That's what we need. There's other, one, 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 make one last point. The census is totally confidential. No one is allowed to share your information. It is against the law. So if you give your information, no one can use that against you. So we want to make sure if someone is undocumented, we need them to get counted. Correct. We need all people to get counted. And everyone is going to be protected. We are going to make sure of that. This is the greatest city in the world. New York City is the greatest city in the world. We are the greatest city in the world because 37% of New Yorkers, 37% of the 8.6 million people who live here were not born in the United States of America but came to our great city with dreams and aspirations for themselves and for their families and for their children. And the Bengali community is why we are so great in New York City. Because you all came here with dreams and aspirations for yourselves and for your family. And as Mazeda said, the Bengali community is the fastest growing community in New York City. 
the fastest growing community, which it should be a point of pride for the Bengali community. Queens County is the most diverse county in the United States of America. 190 languages are spoken in Queens County. We are proud of that, but we need everyone to get counted. Everyone in every community to get counted. And well, what I want to happen, this is what I'm hoping for, for this complete count committee here in Queens and here in the Bengali community. When the count is over with, at the end of this year, on the map, which shows who gave the highest response rate, I want this Bengali community, this area, in Jackson Heights and in Jamaica and in Richmond Hill, I want this community to show the highest response rate, the highest level, as a point of pride for the Bengali community. And so I wanted to come by tonight to tell you all how important this is, how important it is for the money we're going to get, how important it is for our neighborhoods and our schools, and why it is so crucial that you are here in February at the beginning of this process to inform your neighbors and your friends and parents at your school and people that you may worship with. We want everyone to know about this. And so, uh, as Ms. Ada said, I'm Corey Johnson. I'm the speaker of the New York City Council. There are 51 council members, and we all are going out in communities all across New York City to talk about how important it is to get counted. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. And I want to mention one last thing, which I hope is a real point of pride for the Bengali community. We're the greatest city in the world. Yes. We are the greatest city in the world. The greatest city in the world. And you know one of the great things that happened recently in the greatest city in the world? That we now have one of the highest ranking Bengalis ever in the New York City Police yes. Department. Yes. We have uh, Karakan Abdallah, yes. who now is one of the highest ranking people yes. in the NYPD from the Bengali community. Yes. We want to make sure everyone is counted. Two of them. We have two of them now. Chaudhary, Kodam Chaudhary, yes. and Abdullah. And Abdullah. And they are brother-in-laws. And they are brother-in-laws. <laughs> we, we, we are proud of that. I am proud of that, that the Bengali community is now represented at some of the highest levels of the New York City Police Department. So let's get out there. Let's get everyone counted. I am glad you are here tonight. But your job tonight yes. is to get the information from the wonderful community leaders and people that are working at the US Census and the Census here in New York City. But your job is also to leave here with information to give to people that you know, to people in the community, at school, who you worship with, at your local small businesses. That's what we want to happen. So I wanted to come by and say thank you. Thank you for being New Yorkers. Thank you for everything you do to contribute to our city. And uh, the city will protect you whether you are undocumented or not. So everyone's going to be protected. Whether you are a, a citizen or you're undocumented, you are going to be protected and no one can use the census information against you. So thank you all for being here tonight. We look forward to getting every single person Counted. Happy New Year. Thank Bye. you all very much.